Hello, MetroKing790 here with another video that I have actually been work trying to get out for the last couple of days, but eh, timing sucks. Anyways, this is part of a new series, I've, well, new series I've got going, called The Shards of It. As everyone who knows me knows of my favorite set from Magic, this is Battle for Zendikar, that just came out last Friday. My favorite set is Shards of Alara, so this is The Shards of It, talking about the best possible decks for each shard in the new sets. First of all, Naya. That one has the best possibility so far from what I can see. I would suggest if you're going to do a Naya deck based off with Battle for the Card cards only, I'd suggest going ally. There's lots of good allies in here. Like, for example, hold on. Let's see if I can find one. Hero of Gam Gomafada. Whenever an ally is out of your control, all allies gain Instructable till end turn. All allies gain First Strike. All allies gain Trample. All allies gain Haste, so on and so forth. That's the whole point of this deck, is to play allies to get more allies to do stuff. If you're going to play Grixis, I've already got a Grixis deck here for Valve and Endicar. I'd recommend going Eldrazi only. The Eldrazi's are pretty good, especially if you have that whole blue-black mana ramp thing going on. <coughs> Either way. The blue black mana ramp in this set is actually pretty good. If we're going Bant, well, Bant, I really have nothing really ideal for Bant. I recommend not going Bant, just skip Bant. But Esper, I recommend going Vampires with blue buffs. By trying to get yourself to draw more cards in order to get to those buffs. Sure, there's some unblockable creatures, but those are just there's to keep you alive. Unless you want to do a whole exert influence and go betrayal, but betrayal may be my style, but it just doesn't suit me that much this set. However, for John I also recommend going Eldrazi. There's lots of good black blue Eldrazi. Or not black blue. Black red green is John, so black red. Like for example, in the dual color Eldrazi's that they have out. I'll show you here. Sire of no, not Sire of Stagnation, that's blue. Yes. Dusk Stalker. I don't believe don't know if you can see it or not. Dusk Stalker. The void haste at the beginning of your end step if you control if you control no other creatures, return to your hand at the next end step. So he's pretty much like a 4 mana dash creature. And then there's 4 enough slaughter. To avoid pay 1 target creature gains haste. If you have a little breaker from Origins, that's a nice ember cool you got there. Mine. It's a colorless spell of ability, so ember cool, immune to colored spells, will be affected by it. Also for allies, if you're playing Naya, whenever this, whenever Angelic Captain attacks, it gets plus one plus one for at the end of turn, until end of turn for each other attacking ally. Actually, for Naya, I'd recommend going Planeswalker-ish. Kiora and Gideon could definitely help you out for that. And then Royal Spout can help. The Royal Sheep are definitely would, so Merfolk, you're going Naya. Or not Naya, Bant. Merfolk for Bant. Allies for Naya. Eldrazi for Grixis and Jund. And Vampires for Esper. So, those are the shards of it. Coming in the next set, the Gate will, or both of the Gate Watch, I will make another video based off of this series. This video will come out, or these videos will come out about a couple of days, a week to a couple of days after the set comes out. So, Metroid Kingdom 90, signing off.